Good morning. Here we are, David Arthur, Harvest 2023. Uh, we're just getting going with some of our whites. We've done a little rosé. We've done. Uh, we're working on this Fiano Pet Nat that's bubbling away, and then our Quattro Bianchi. That's what we're going to taste and check out today. Um, this is the variety called Rabola Gialla, um, and it's a very big berry cluster. This probably only is sugared up to about 20, 21 bricks, uh, but you can see how big and fat those, those berries are. This is going in the press right now, and we'll be doing a, a real light press, pressing on it. So when you add this last bin, you get a load in and start pressing. Let's go take a look at these other varieties. Follow me. You too, buddy. Come on. Are you, you like, do you eat grapes? <laughs> Right over here, uh, this is the um, Cota de Volpe. Cota de Volpe is the tail of the fox. Uh, this is probably the most acidic of the group um, at about, uh, and lower, lower sugar, uh, but it definitely adds a, a, a mineral dynamic to it because of the acidity. Um, we don't have much of it. You can see there's just two bins of it. Um, then over here, um, these next two varieties which is Arnais and Fiano, look actually pretty similar. Let's get here. Let's go here. Yeah, you can see this is the Fiano here, and then look at the, the little bit tighter cluster on the Arnais. Arnais is a variety of Piedmonte, um, and then the Fiano is more Campania, Southern Italy. Um, this has a little bit more sugar to it, um, lots of acid, um, and the Arnais a little bit lower acid, uh, both of these have a lot of citrus fruit, a lot of tangerine. Uh, it, it, they're, they make wonderful, wonderful um, uh, blenders to the, the to the Quattro Bianchi. Okay, next, should we load the press? So this is what we're pressing today. This is the uh, mostly Fiano, Rabolo Gialla, that's what we have the most grapes of, and then a little bit of the Cote de Volpe and the Arnais. And this is the 2022 version. So about five months in barrel, um, a little bit of malolactic just to soften the acidity. Um, but like I was mentioning before, there's a lot of this kind of fresh tangerine, there's melon, a bit of stone fruit, Less of a Sauvignon Blanc and more almost like a, a confluence of Chardonnay and Riesling. Um, but with um, some nice texture, nice minerality. I'm really excited about this wine. Uh, we love it. Um, and it's actually, you know, it's got a high drinkability factor. Watch Bianchi.